So, oh. Gav, yeah. so CJ was mentioning earlier that you are quite a bit different from the rest of your family. Yes. What do they think of, of your three-wheeler passion? Ooh, or what do they think your, about you Well, just general. your redneck <laughs> tendencies. Oh, redneck tendencies. Oh, crap. I don't They think it's awesome. I mean, they all love going out in the boat and messing around at the lake, but I just take it to another level with playing in the mud and doing all the... Like when they're in the boat, you're on your three-wheeler next to them, scuba, like scuba, scuba diving. Diving. I've done that once or twice. Yeah, yeah I've been deep. Yeah, I've been down deep. But uh, no, they love it. Everybody loves it. It's just different for sure. No one sees three wheelers around where I'm at too much, and so it's different. Cool. But three wheelers aside, like yeah. do you and the rest of your family, like, do they ever? I don't know. Like, go out and no. I mean, they're polar. My brother's polar opposite party boy up at GCU. I mean, he doesn't give a crap about getting muddy. He would never even get his hands under a three wheeler. But redneck crap. I don't know. That's what it's about. You know what's crazy is the the. Uh, Tyler Stewart, the kid that is super good at surfing that we had come up and uh, film this summer, is roommates with Gavin's brother. Really what good buddy. What? Yeah, no, they're, oh, yeah, they're roommates with yeah. Gavin's brother. He didn't know that? Dude. Yeah, they're like best friends. He, he, Tyler went out to my mom's house with Logan and everything. That small world there. Yeah. That is. They yeah. must just be thinking, yeah, they just invite literally everyone Dude. out. <laughs> <laughs> You were with the Steve Boys? No way, me too. Yeah, that's yeah it was really like <laughs> one week after we had uh, Tyler out. Yeah. Wow. I'm just curious, going back to when did you decide you were going to be a redneck or when did you notice you were a redneck? Did your parents, were they like, <laughs> no, I were they like, no, it's, it was Monster Jam, like I said. They had to been unfamiliar with buying cowboy boots for you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, like, that was the stock show. We still had the stock show around. That's where I got the first pair of boots. But yeah, dude, I mean, I was sitting on YouTube watching Mud Digger, the, the, that music video, and then I loved all the mud trucks, loved the mud, loved ATVs, and it just went from... Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what, what? what did you just say? Mud you, Digger, Colt no, Ford, oh yeah. You said you love... Mud trucks. No. No. Hmm, what else? You said, I love ATVs. Ooh, all-terrain vehicle. Yeah, but that's a trike's an ATC. No, it's still an a, first ever ATV. If you look up a three wheeler, formal definition, first ever ATV. All right, well that slide. Okay, thank you. But uh, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I, I guess I'm just interested. I thought in you did. I, <laughs> whatever, and I think it's awesome. Yeah. So, like to be clear, I I think being a redneck is is better than not being a redneck. Well, there's nothing. Uh, maybe I it's the that. best. It's the best thing. I mean, I wouldn't consider my, <laughs> to be clear, myself I, I, full redneck. I mean, I'm I'm pretty freaking damn redneck. But I got friends with. I'm friends with everybody. Yeah, no, there's I nobody agree. I'm I not agree. friends with. I agree. I'm not. I'm not ragging on you for being a redneck. I just am curious. Yeah. I think it's awesome. Yep. I think it's one of your better better qualities Thank next you. to obviously being a, a great guy. But is yeah. being redneck a quality? Eh, it's more like a lifestyle. It's a trait. Yeah. I'd say it's a trait in us. For him, it's like a. Lifestyle. Lifestyle. Yeah. You know what is interesting <laughs> is I would say that the, the term redneck has a pretty negative connotation. Uh, yeah, I agree. I don't think it's it easy. Not I think, anymore. Nowadays, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah. I like think you anyone that's listened and, and thought that, that, that we were anyway uh, uh, hinting at that is we weren't. We, yeah, I, I didn't think mean we, it in a negative connotation. Yeah, exactly. I think we were hinting at that being redneck is cool, and I love when you said that Gavin was a, a like, bot, not built redneck. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's also... No, no, no. no. For a build, not bot. A build, not, yeah. He's self-proclaimed. Like, he tells everyone, I'm a redneck and whatever. I, I would never just be like, you're a redneck. It's kind of like my buddy Evan. Like, Evan grew up on a golf course, but he he chose the streets. To be a degenerate. Or the mud. <laughs> yeah, I blame my friends. Yeah, would they, you, would they you made consider me yourself way. a redneck, Ev, at all? Uh, I, mean, I mean, I think I fall into that category. Yeah, you like definitely I, got a little in you. I yeah. think we all got I got a little redneck in, me. in us. Yeah. Redneck. I would say more hoodlum, though. A little yeah, hoodlum, little, little hoodlum. degenerate. Well, he's got that dirt he's biker vibe. He's got that vibe, Philly friendly. bike life yeah. with a little yeah. bit of, like, some Cali in him. And yeah, a little hood rat. Peppered yeah. into that redneck. Quite a bit of hood rap. I think there's a lot of proud rednecks out there that go, you guys aren't redneck, but well, you yeah, know what? Yeah, No. We're we're journeying down the path. That's why I have to tread lightly when I say, like, we, we can't really self-proclaim that we're rednecks because we just, we'd get torn apart. That We definitely got a little bit of redneck in us, though, because yeah. we love playing in the mud and we like big trucks and whatever else seems to be filed under the redneck category but you guys, guys gotta figure it out sure. yeah, we beers, dabble. beers. Yeah, we dabble. rednecks yeah. like beers we like beers yeah been on the crush a few yeah. <laughs>